As Joe Yi turned his head, he saw Keaton approaching with his boss and several other hunters. Keaton pointed at Joe Yi and exclaimed, Boss, he is the one who stole the secret information. Killer B, the president of the Morrowind Guild, looked at Joe Yi with a menacing expression. Kid, it's too late to surrender now, he said coldly. Keaton, trying to support his boss, added, Boss, it seems like he has already surpassed the game level and obtained what you were after. Joe Yi replied confidently with a smirk, I expected this would happen when your bald little brother traded the information for his life. Keaton's face twisted in fear and desperation as he turned to Killer B. Boss, don't listen to this kid's nonsense. He's lying. Killer B's gaze shifted between Joe Yi and Keaton. What's going on here? he demanded, his tone filled with suspicion and anger. As Keaton stood there trembling with fear, his boss, Killer B, placed his right hand, which was enveloped in a dark, crackling energy, on Keaton's head. Do you think you have the same haircut as mine? Do you believe we're equals now? He asked coldly. With a sinister smirk, Killer B began to draw the very life force out of Keaton who gasped and shuddered before collapsing lifelessly to the ground. Turning his attention to Zhou Yi, Killer B's smile turned even more malevolent. Bastard, hand over the secret realm teleportation bead, and I might just spare your life, he demanded, his voice dripping with menace. Zhou Yi observed the scene with a mixture of awe and dread. Such power. This boss must be at level 40, he thought to himself realizing the gravity of the situation. Suddenly, Zhou Yi found himself surrounded by the hostile hunters, thinking to himself, just in time to try out my new magic skill on them. He activates his skill Death Crow, transforming into a dark, menacing crow and vanishing from sight. One of the hunters shouts, Boss! He disappeared! Killer B, unfazed, commands, Shut up! That kid must still be nearby! Find him! As the hunters spread out and search frantically, Zhou Yi flies into the air in his crow form. He activates his Death Eye skill to check if he can use it in this transformed state. With Death Eye, he intends to locate his enemy's weaknesses. Scanning Killer B, Zhou Yi identifies a critical vulnerability in his hand. No wonder he wears gloves for protection, Zhou Yi realizes. Zhou Yi prepares to use his next skill, God's Hand, to steal from Killer B. Upon activating God's hand, he swiftly flies by Killer B's side and successfully steals the skill Blood Poison Contract from him. Zhou Yi is surprised at how smoothly the skill theft worked on his first attempt. Meanwhile, Killer B feels a strange sensation and realizes something was just next to him. Activating his blood aura senses, he quickly identifies Zhou Yi in his crow form in the sky. With a fierce expression, Killer B shouts, So, it's you. Kill that crow. In response, Zhou Yi activates his skill, Death Crow, unleashing a barrage of deadly feathers from above. The feathers strike the hunters, immobilizing them and causing chaos. Amidst the confusion, Killer B, undeterred, commands, Summon Blood Slaves! Instantly, Blood Slaves are summoned from within a 500 meter radius, forming a protective barrier around Killer B. The battle intensifies as Zhou Yi, still in crow form, continues his aerial assault, determined to overcome Killer B and his newly summoned blood slaves. Behind the attack, Zhou Yi approaches one of the blood slaves, suddenly reverting to his human form. With a swift motion, he strikes with his sword, taking down the blood slave and causing it to collapse to the ground. Killer B, observing this, remarks, You kid, I didn't expect you to be this strong. Zhou Yi notes Killer B's interest in his sword, and Killer B comments on its quality, hinting that he plans to take it. He then activates his blood poison contract skill, manipulating the blood of those he has marked and turning them into zombies. Zhou Yi realizes how the blood poison contract works. Killer B then announces, I've changed my mind again, and prepares for a more intense confrontation. He plans to turn Zhou Yi into his blood slave and use his own sword against him. With determination, Zhou Yi resists, saying, to even put your eyes on my diabolical sword. Originally, I wasn't planning to kill you, but now I am. At that moment, a system message appears, indicating that Zhou Yi can enter the hidden secret realm. Killer B mocks him, believing he has the upper hand, 
but Zhou Yi sees an opportunity to escape. He moves towards the portal as Killer B and his blood slaves pursue him. As Zhou Yi enters the hidden secret realm, werewolves are alerted to his presence. It's a human, a delicious blood meal. Don't let him run away, they howl. One of the werewolves yells, There is an intruder! Kill him! Zhou Yi finds himself surrounded by werewolves as Killer B taunts him, Are you out of your mind? You'd rather feed yourself to dogs than be my blood slave? Ignoring Killer B's taunts, Zhou Yi focuses on the approaching werewolves. The werewolf commander steps forward, issuing a dire warning. Humans, you will pay the price for your actions. A system message identifies the werewolf commander as a powerful and dangerous enemy. Zhou Yi, observing the werewolf commander, notes with a smirk, the attributes of this wolf king are pretty good. That's it. Determined, Zhou Yi activates his blood prison contract skill. All right, guys, this is it for today. Please like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.